We're gonna put two of the best places in the world to find fossilized shark teeth head to head. From the wild alligator-filled Peace River, to the pristine beaches of Venice, Florida. These places are a surefire way to get you to fall in love with fossil hunting and looking for fossilized shark teeth. But they both come with their pros and cons. First on the menu, Peace River. A haven for fossil hunters who want to dig deep into history. Literally. Located in central Florida, Peace River is well known for its fossil-rich riverbeds, not just shark teeth you find. We're talking about everything from prehistoric bones, ancient marine life, all hiding just below the surface. Getting to the best spots here usually involves a kayak or a canoe trip and a bit of elbow grease. You need a sifting screen, a shovel, and a good sense of adventure to dig through the riverbed and the gravel. And sometimes, if you're lucky, you'll find something incredible, like this amazing extinct three-toed horse tooth right here on the surface. One of the best things about the Peace River is the variety of fossils you can uncover. You never know what you're gonna find, and the sense of discovery is a huge draw. Plus, you can enjoy the peaceful, natural setting while you hunt. It comes with its own set of challenges, from the physical strain of actually digging the gravel and the sand to find the fossils to the fluctuating water levels. Sometimes it's up eight feet and there is not a chance you're gonna get in there and get something with the current. Plus, even when it's shallow, there are deep holes that you wanna go down and look in and the current's strong, so you gotta have something to hold on to. And let's not even start with the literal living dinosaurs that are still there occupying the river. Let's head to Venice, Florida, the shark tooth capital of the world. Known for its pristine beaches and amazing fossilized shark teeth. Venice is full of beaches that are incredibly accessible to the public. And it's surrounded by tourist amenities to, to make your fossil hunting trip a nice day at the beach. From walking the beach, to sifting, to scuba diving the deep, you're sure to find a shark tooth, if not a megalodon, when you hunt here. Make sure to check out the Patreon page. But like Peace River, Venice does have some downsides. The beaches get crowded, which means a lot of competition and a lot of eyes out there looking for shark teeth. And the weather conditions and the time of year and the tides can really change what's washing up on shore. So how do these spots compare? Let's break it down and show you the pros and cons of each one. Accessibility. Peace River takes a little bit of planning, sometimes equipment and more effort. But if you're in for an adventure, it is 100% worthwhile. Venice, on the other hand, just grab your beach bag and let's get searching. Next up, fossil variety. Peace River has a crazy array of different prehistoric fossils you can find. Mammoth, mastodon, extinct horses, sloths, you name it. It all is out there. Venice, on the other hand, is probably one of the best places to find a giant megalodon tooth. And finally, the experience. Peace River offers a rugged, more hands-on adventure, full of surprises. Venice, on the other hand, a more relaxed, laid-back hunt with a bonus of easy access and beachside views. So what's right for you? Venice might be the best if you're a beginner. It's a great place to dip your toes, literally. But if you're ready for a little bit more intense adventure, Peace River might be the place for you. You can grab your gear, get out there, and see what nature has in store. Pick this up. This has a little bit of blue there. Six for it. Oh, is that way bigger than I thought? Put it in the water. I thought it was going to be like a half an inch tooth. That's a root up top. and the deposits out of it. I think it's monstrous. It's blue. But this is what you got so far. Not bad. When I grabbed that, I thought it was going to be a half inch tooth like the other snake. You can just want to put it aside there. I thought that was going to be a half inch tooth. <laughs>